Good morning. This is David Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire and we're pleased to have you with us for another video. Today I'm joined by Jim Lane of Rock Farm Knives. Uh, Jim has made a beautiful knife that we're going to review today. This is called the Camper Deluxe. And what we're going to do is give you a review of this, how it works, what it's made out of, and uh, let you know a little bit more about Rock Farm Knives. So uh, what we're going to do is start by letting Jim tell us a little bit of the specifications of this knife and how he actually made it. Jim, great to see you, brother. <laughs> you too, buddy. Good to have you here. Listen, tell me a little bit about this knife and uh, what you did with this. Okay, well, this knife started off, uh, it started life out as a farrier's file. And uh, which you know, they use that to shape horse hooves and stuff like that. And what I did is I took the file and I compressed it down, thickened up the steel itself, and I left part of the markings from the file in there, which you can see. You can see that that's beautiful. Now, I call that dragon hide. And with this type of blade, I put a really high polish on it because it's less likely to rust that way. Um, the blade itself is a convex edge and it's differentially uh, differentially tempered and what that means is it's hardened from here down right you can actually almost see the bluing up top here so it's softer yep. and that way if you're batoning or something like that it can handle the stress uh, the thumb rest here the last notch of this thumb rest is actually sharpened somewhat and that is for use with a fire steel uh, so you can get good sparks. The balance, and I'll show you here, is right there so that you really don't ever feel the weight of the blade while you're using it. The handle is out of two woods and one is called Paduke which is the red wood and the other one is called lace wood which is actually a member of the poison ivy family. And uh, what I did was I took two different layers of wood, glued them together, and then towards the front here, if you can see it, I switched that and I put a gray spacer in between. I used mosaic pins for decoration on the first two and on the last one is a quarter inch stainless steel tubing. Uh, so you can use that for a lanyard hole or something like that. It's just a, your traditional style of outdoor camping knife um, made to my specs. So this is a very beautiful knife, Jim, but it's also functional. Yes. Uh, so far, I can see we've got a blade, and I would imagine that we could actually, with the lanyard, hold this back and get a little extra power for chopping, mm -hmm. as well as a fire steel. Now, will we be able to try that out to show the people how this fire steel works? Oh, yeah. Okay. And uh, I see there's a little groove right underneath the thumb rest. Yes. There's a little tiny groove here. That's to stop people from getting cut. Is that correct? Yeah. So when I'm holding this, this point doesn't hit me on the blade. That's awesome. Yeah. What, a, what a beautiful piece of work you put together here, Jim. Now tell us a little bit about this sheath. The sheath uh, is molded to the knife. Um, I like to hand mold all my sheaths. The rivets are copper, solid copper, that have been peened over. One thing I did add with this sheath is a loop here for your fire steel. And you can see it's nice and snug, fits in there. And this is your standard Swedish uh, Light My Fire fire steel that I took the original handle off and I added lace wood to it so that it will match the handle of the Camper Deluxe. Well, that's gorgeous, Jim. Great job on that. The there you go. belt loop will fit up to a two inch belt. Great. And it's a nice high riding system, uh, so that way, whenever it's on, when somebody's wearing this, it's going to be out of their way uh, until they need it. So that's basic. And the one other thing with the construction of the sheath, it's got three layers. Okay. So instead of just taking the two layers and pressing them down, it's right. got that third safety layer in so there. So that knife's not going to cut through that, especially with no. those copper rivets. No, it's it's solid. Well, Jim, what a great knife you've put together. I'd like to do a couple little field tests real quick with this and see how it uh, see how it works and show the people how it actually cuts. What I want to do is to do a couple field tests real quick for you on this knife. And the first thing that we're going to do is to show you how this striker works. Now, we just got a Boy Scout striker here. Uh, it won't throw as many sparks as, as a light my fire, but being that this knife is for sale, uh, we don't want to ruin that striker. So what you do is simply put the striker into this channel, 
and then hold tight and pull off and there you go so that's a very very nice way to have a striker with you to have a way to strike it without dulling the front edge of your blade that's kind of important so now let's take it over and show you how it skins and how it does a little bit of chopping one of the hardest tests to put your knife through is to cut through oak and here in the Ozarks middle of the Mark Twain National Forest we have oak and hickory all over the place so what I want to do today is just to take a piece of this pin oak and uh, we'll slice through this just to give you an idea that knife went right through there that's a good quality knife and as far as skinning boy you just get in there you can skin this knife just takes that first layer off perfect it's just a beautiful beautiful handling knife and it has all the qualities that a woodsman wants again this is called the camper deluxe this is not made specifically for chopping but I want to show you that it'll do that job as well all right well here we are at the chopping block and I want to show you that through a one inch piece of oak this knife will make short work again it's not noted to be a chopper but you can see it did the job of course if we put a lanyard on here and move our grip back a little bit then that's going to be uh, even more leverage that we can get if I pull that leverage back then I'm going to get a lot more power and you can see that went almost the whole way through that in one shot Jim what a quality knife you've made I, I am just so excited about this knife and I am proud to call you my friend and to know you it's quite an honor to know somebody with such talent and with such skills uh, I hope you do real well with this knife and I think you will as I said before this knife is for sale Jim is not taking orders at this time but if you snuck him an email I'm sure that he could work you in if there was something that you were interested in doing Jim thanks so much for being with us thanks, David. and uh, I hope you do real well here at Rock Farm Knives this is David Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire. We hope you've enjoyed this video review of the Camper Deluxe series by Jim Lane. And hope you have a great day. Join us on another video. Until then, be blessed.